Hey guys, I just want to say hope for some hope for us all. I'm really struggling. It's so cold here in London. I am absolutely shivering. I hadn't prepared for it being so cold. Um, it's an absolute manic security. People are panicking that they're not going to get into the meeting in time. Um, it's 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 queue all the way around the wall at the moment. Um, but just a little bit of hope for us all. Already, one of the families that I have already met is the daughter that was forced adopted with her mother here. Um, but like her daughters just said, it's a really, really hard emotional day for them all. She will never get her childhood back. And I'm talking about the, the daughter that was taken, that's been reunited with her mother. And the fact is she said she'll never, ever, ever get her childhood back. She'll never, ever be raised by her parents. Um, but then again, from the other side, people see it from the other point of the perspective where, um, you know, people are just pushing out children that are, are drinking and, and really genuinely don't want to be mothers. But today is a really, really hard day for the generation of children that obviously grew up from the era. Um, but unfortunately, people don't know that it's still going on. And I think this is the key that people are trying to say that this is something that went on in the past but times have changed and would never happen again and that's why I felt the need to even come to London to just be outside the building I don't tick the boxes to be in here I'm not a uh, prior to 1976 so for the sensitivity in nature, and I will be here, I am talking to people, a lot of people know who I am, who have come to speak to me. Um, I haven't seen Harriet yet. Um, I've got a feeling it might be somebody. I've never actually met Harriet properly face to face. So I've been at protests with uh, of hers, but um, not of hers, on, on her. So yeah, for those that don't know what's going on at Port Palace House today, it's one of the stages of, um, it's a round table meeting. It's a uh, being held by the uh, Human Rights Committee and it's referenced single mothers um, that were forced to give their children up for adoption. And this is Port Cullis House, um, which is here in London. I've got Parliament just behind me here. And then if you can see, uh, obviously, I should leave the police officer. Uh, little Big Ben uh, up the side there. So I just let the police do what they're doing. Um, but again, uh, I don't want to video anyone. The queue is all the way around the side and people are, are, are already panicking about getting in and seated for the meeting. So um, I won't be able to video anything. Uh, once, if I do go across that line, there won't be no video, nothing like that. Um, but obviously once the meeting has finished, then it's the paperwork that I'm interested in after. So, yeah. This is... Oh, this is more Houses of Parliament, but look. Houses. Yeah. And just to move out of everybody's way, I don't agree with people being caught on camera when people are living. So um, again, this is about everybody getting down their own statements and um, bringing their own prosecutions and that's the way it's gonna have to go. So there's more and more people just trying to get in. So the meeting starts at one o'clock and it will go on until four. And this is Port Cullis House here in London. Have a look yourself. I'm here so you know it's going on. Um, and that we do need to keep pushing and to have some faith, have some hope that as much as it's really difficult, that a majority of people do and are reunited with their families, even if it's years down the road, eventually they are reunited with their families. Uh, so I shall be around and I shall catch you in a bit.